Nano Nickel Full Lame Honora 1718 to 26 April 1784 Founded the sister of presentation of the Blast Virgin Mary also known as the Presentation Sisters in Ireland. Lona Presentation College in Pratt, Australia was also named after her and the sisters. There are also other schools founded by or named after Nanonagal. Early years Nana was born in Ballygriffin, Kilavolan, country Cork in 1718. As with many members of the Irish landed families who had remained constant to the traditional Roman Catholic faith, Nana Nagel was sent to France to be educated. Education was being denied to them in Ireland unless they agreed to convert to the Church of Ireland. Nano's life in Paris where the Nagels had many important social connections was without a great deal of heed to the plight of the less well-off of her country people. On her return from Paris she lived in Dublin for a while with her mother but the deaths in quick sections of her father, mother, and her sister Anne caused her to return to her home at Ballygriffin 1718 and led to decision to enter an unruliness convent in Janmain, Australia, where she was gradually persuaded that her life would more usefully be employed among her own people and in her own country where the light of education was barred to those of her religion under the panel laws. The Beginnings of Nano's Mystery She returned from the French convent in 1747 and set up the first Catholic school around this time. The proceedings had to be kept secret as what she was doing was outside the law. She proceeded slowly with a few children in a mud cabin. She stole from hole to hole each day to gather the most needy people to teach and nighttime ministries to priority a written elderly and sick in her hometown gave Nano the nickname, the lady with the lantern. It was not long before Nano had over 200 children and she decided that it was time for a new school. She opened one on Philfort land on the north side of Cork City and soon she had seven schools two for girls and five for boys. As her workload increased, she realized that she would need help with her work. She came up with the idea to set up an unruliness convent in Cork City, which she would initially sponsor. Thus, in 1771, the first unruliness convent was established in Ireland. The first community was made up of four Cork women who were professed at the unruliness convent in the Rue Saint Jacques, Paris, France, and a Reverend Mother. The original unruliness convent built on Cove land now Douglas Street still survives, known as South Presentation Convent and is a house of the Presentation Sisters to this day. Nano had four sisters and two brothers and their names were Anne, 
Mary, Catherine, Alice Bart, David, and Joseph. Her uncle Joseph had converted to the established church so that he could hold property on behalf of the Roman Catholic members of his family as was required under the panel laws then force. The Presentation Sisters The four woes of the Unruliness Sisters are poverty, chastity, obedience and education of all the classes. Nanonegal wished to concentrate on the educating the poorest in society, but this was incompatible with the unruliness woe, and so she determined to set up her own order. The Presentation Sisters of the Blessed Virgin Mary in 1775, she entered with some companions on a novative for the religious life. The first house was on Cove Land, now Douglas Street. With them, she received the habit on 29 June 1776, taking the name of Mother Mary of St. John of God. They made their first annual vows 24 June 1777. She founded the first presentation convent in Ireland at Cork, which was opened on Christmas Day 1777. Her first order was called Sisters of the Charitable instruction of the scared heart of Jesus, but it was later changed to Sisters of the Presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary or the Presentation Sisters. Today, late people and sisters work in carrying on Nano's vision. Final illness and death. All her time was spent with the poor and she neglected herself. She soon fell ill with tuberculosis and died on 26 April 1784. Her last words were love one another. Spend yourselves for the poor. Before Nanonegal died, she told her sisters that God is happiness, never give up, help the children of the poor and trust in God. According to Sister Rose's account, on her deathbed, Mother Nagel gave to her daughters the following instruction, Love one another as you have Harito done. As her legacy she bequeathed to them the treasure which is prized above all the wealth of the earth, the love of the poor of Jesus Christ.